Today at the South Carolina State House, Governor Henry McMaster signed a $1.3 billion Scout Motors incentive package to bring the Volkswagen backed electric vehicle plant to Northeast Richland County, specifically in the town of Blythewood. This after the General Assembly voted to approve the incentive package. A Scout is committing to invest $2 billion to build the plant, create 4,000 jobs, and have electric vehicles rolling off the production line by 2026. Scott Keough is the CEO of Scout Motors. So good to have you. Pleasure, Donnie. Thanks Thank for having you. me. Thank and you. And of course, this is very near and dear to my heart because Blythewood is my life and oh has boy. been for decades. So, <laughs> And a lot of my Blythewood neighbors want to ask a lot of questions. So let's just go first of all with what has happened today, Scott, and the fast progress. You, Scout Motors, you started negotiating this deal really just a few months ago. And it's already been approved and is moving forward pretty much full speed ahead. Are you surprised at how quickly South Carolina kind of rolled out the red carpet for you? We were, and uh, I, I think it just speaks to the partnership and it speaks to the opportunity. But some of these deals, as you know, take 12 to 18 months. Mm -hmm. The fact that this took 60 days plus over the holidays uh, was nearly miraculous, but we're impressed. The, the state, the county, the city, incredible performance. You looked at more than 70 sites. Why is it you settled on Blythewood? Well, you know, as the governor said, he said you should have started here first and maybe we could have uh, saved some time. Right. But, uh, <laughs> we didn't start here first, uh -huh. uh, but we know uh, the real estate in America quite well. I think three reasons. One is infrastructure. It's a great site. It has energy. Uh, it has water. As you can imagine, building a car plant is immensely complicated uh, in terms of soil, in terms of everything. So the site is very good. The second thing is, of course, the talent and the workforce. You have people who can make great things, people who desire to build great things, and that's fantastic. And the final piece is the, uh, is the government. I have to say, I've never met a more business-oriented, rapid deployment, quick to action, quick to say yes, government. And you put those three things together, Plus, I would say the warm welcome. It's, uh, it's powerful and we're excited. Well, we do hope it's a warm welcome. I know a lot of people are excited about it. And as I mentioned to you, Blythewood has been my home for 23 plus years. I'm ingrained in that community, in the people's lives. And a lot of people are just wanting the opportunity. And I want to give you the opportunity to give people of Richland County, Northeast Richland County, kind of the assurance of your ability to be a good neighbor. So first of all, talk about the loyalty to the economic benefits. The vehicles are gonna be electric SUVs and trucks, and there's been a lot of talk lately about this being able to do for the Midlands, what BMW has done for the upstate, what Boeing and of course Volvo have done for the low country. There was a similar opportunity though, years back, Scott, in the mid eighties with Mack truck mm -hmm. and it came in and Fairfield County, you know, was the place to be and so many good things happening. Fairfield County just being north of okay. Richland County yep. and overnight Winsboro became this, this great place, but then Mack truck left in 2002 and a lot of people were, were without a lot of jobs. Mm -hmm. So how are you going to reassure my viewers that Scout Motors will stay and the thousands of people who have chosen to make that their job will be able to keep their job? Mm -hmm. That's a good question. And I, I think the first thing is if you look at an automotive plant, these are generational. You don't invest in automotive to do it for five, 10 years. The stakes are too high. People's livelihood is too high the investment's too high. We have many plants around the world that have been there for 70, 80 years. The plant in Wolfsburg is over 80 years old. So these are generational decisions. That's how we do things and that's how we want to do things and we'll continue. I think the biggest word for us, honestly, is respect. We want to be profoundly strong corporate citizens. You've welcomed us into your community. You've welcomed us as citizens and family and we want to pay that same respect. And it's going to go to the construction process, which of course will be busy. We want to manage that properly. And then of course, it's the fantastic jobs and the careers and the opportunities. You know, they say for me, our grandparents used to have careers, our parents had jobs, people today have tasks. Well, we want to forget this task game. We want to give sustainable, great careers with great benefits. And if you look at it, this is the ecosystem of the future industrialization of America. You're going to get skills in batteries, skills in maintaining uh, 21st century equipment and machines. So these will be translatable, transferable, and uh, that's what we want to do and be. Well, you ready for this question? Because let me uh -oh. tell you, 
<laughs> this is, this is going to be a loaded one, huh? It is. It's the traffic one. I cannot tell you how many people talk about Blackwood already has major traffic issues in some places where you have to sit. I mean, believe me, as my viewers are watching this right now, for those who live in that area, they're thinking, yes, please ask him about the traffic. There are daily backups. Now, even before Scout Motors announced coming in, there already have been some plans in place to try to put in some roundabouts and some things to alleviate the major traffic headaches that we have had. But with a major company like you coming in, alleviate the fears of my viewers who say traffic, a nightmare already, is just going to be worse. How do you do that, Scott? <laughs> Tony, I, I, I'm not going to give you a corporate stooge answer that says everything's right. fantastic, everything's right. great. Right. You're doing this kind of construction, it's, uh, it's obviously going to be a lot of trucks and a lot of infrastructure. Yes. Here's two things. I think the first thing, we will listen to the community and we will outreach and we will get the feedback and we will do the best that we possibly can. I think the second thing in the conversations that I had with, uh, with Columbia, with Richland County, with, uh, with obviously the governor's office, they're obviously aware of this. And what they told me was traffic was a problem before we arrived. That's right. If you look at the new investments that they're going to put in, in terms of the infrastructure, adding an extra overpass to my understanding, which will allow us to stay isolated somewhat from the rest of the traffic, mm -hmm. I hope it works. But we're going to have to do this together. And I think we'll be respectful and hopefully we can navigate to it. The last thing we want to do is disrupt and annoy and mm -hmm. piss off, frankly, <laughs> the very community that we want to love and embrace us. Exactly. <laughs> Let's go to the environment now. A lot of people say, yes, we do think Scout Motors is a great thing and it's going to have great benefits, but what's going to happen, you know, to the deer in the backyard kind of thing and the wildlife and, and maybe the pollution that could be created from that. Talk on that. Yeah, I, I think two things on that front. One is the site itself and all the work that we will do to make sure we take proper care of, uh, of, of everything. Now, in the initial work that we've done, nothing's told us that we can't manage this without doing harm, obviously. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, the goal of these plants is not to create harm. I think the other thing, of course, is we want to use maximum, maximum clean energy and clean policies and CO2 and everything else to, you know, if you look what the brand wants to do, it wants to protect the air, protect the earth uh, and, uh, and, and protect the water. And that's what we intend to do with this plant. It's yeah, an industrial enterprise, but of course we want to be cognizant. We have a responsibility. Yeah, there's the water issues, the sewer system issues, the soil stabilization as well, that all of that would have to come into play. Precisely, and the leveling and all the things you know. Exactly. Yes. So Jobs, you believe there's a return to industrialization, um, yet there are businesses in Blythewood and around the Midlands that still, since COVID, have the Help Wanted signs out. And just today on my way into the newsroom from my beautiful Blythewood, I drove down Community Road where you're going to be setting up shop, and there, there are plants out there, manufacturing companies, that have signs that say full-time positions open, hiring now. How do you do that? Look, life's, How do you feel uh, those? Life, th I think this is a challenge in many parts of America. America has not fully returned, and I think it's obviously a challenge, but I think what you have to do is you have to compete for labor. Mm -hmm. And I think you have to order a great job, you have to order great benefits, and I think what you have to offer is a career. This is not something fly by day and you're in a service business here today, gone tomorrow. If the wind gets rough, you're going to be dismissed. This is a long-term sustainable career. That's what we will offer. And I think we will attract a lot of people to that. I've seen it before in other plants that I've uh, worked at. When you offer a career versus a temporary task, uh, that's where people want to be. Ex and I think the final thing is, of course, the training that we'll be offering will give people skill sets that are uh, of high value in a competitive marketplace. I do want to talk about that and, and the skill set and doing some of that on site. You know, I know you're looking at doing a lot of technical education opportunities between the University of South Carolina, Clemson, Benedict College, Midlands Technical College. How are you going to create a partnership with those higher education institutions with Scout Motors? I think in some regards it's begun already. I've already met with the heads of the two big universities. Uh, I know in fact my head of HR was here already. She set up meetings and she met with many of the universities already. Uh, so we're already starting those conversations and that is the best way to solve it have the meetings, have the conversation, set up the dialogue, and build this workforce of the future. So look, we only just signed it. The ink is barely wet, so I, 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 know. I promise you we're on the case. <laughs> but uh, but uh, look, it's in our interest, and it's in their interest, and uh, sure. we can make great opportunities. So just quick answers to these. When do you break ground? When do you start hiring? And when does that first vehicle roll off the line? Oof. Okay, break ground. And, uh, and I'm going to hold you to all of it. Break, break ground, <laughs> middle of 23. Okay. Hopefully set the uh, the first cornerstone, end of 23. 
Uh, and then, of course, the hiring will be a ramp up, but it won't be linear. Of course, there'll be a lot of construction and site prep. And then 24 will be building the site. And then, let's say, into 25, start building to make the cars. And then the first cars, not for customers, but the first test cars should be coming down the line, let's say, early 26, end of 26, the first customer car. So it's an ambitious schedule, but ambition makes the world go round. It does, and it seems that this whole project from the very beginning has been very ambitious and, and taken off with great momentum. Yep. As we close, Scott, what do you want to tell the people of Blythewood, of Northeast Richland County, Richland County in general, and really the state who will be impacted by Scout Motors with this huge endeavor? Yep. I, I think the first thing I want to say is a big thank you. Thank you for welcoming us, and thank you for having us here, and uh, we couldn't be more excited. I think the second thing is get ready for a fantastic future. We want to bring back this iconic American brand. We want to bring it back to here. So no matter where you go around the world, you can say Scouts are manufactured and made here. It's something we can be collectively proud of. And then the final thing, of course, we want to offer massive career opportunities and we want to offer uh, this great chances and get behind this brand. So thank you for the welcome and uh, yeah, let's get to work. And work indeed. All right, Scott Keogh, CEO of Scout Motors. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Appreciate I enjoyed it. Thank, thank you. you.